Hello, I am Steve Tassi, the board game guru, and today I am here to teach you how to play one of my favorite recent party games from the good people at Prospero Hall and the publisher Wonder Forge. And that game is Banned Words. Banned Words is a team word guessing game similar to Taboo. Place the screen between the two teams on the table and give each team their set of whiteboards and markers. Place the timer and the scoreboard aside for now. The goal is to score the most points by guessing your target words successfully and by successfully predicting the words that the opposing team will use when they are guessing. Each round is divided into two segments, the predictions and the guessing. Each team makes their predictions simultaneously, then they take turns guessing. Predictions. Each round begins with a two minute timed prediction period. Each team is given a word card. This contains the five target words that the other team is going to have to guess. Once each team has a card from the box, the timer starts and you have two minutes to write down as many words as you can, maximum 16, on their whiteboards. The goal is to come up with words that you think the other team is going to say out loud while they are in their guessing turn. For example, if this is the card of target words that my opposing team has to guess, then uh, my team might start writing down words like triangle, Egypt, uh, Dijon or condiment for the mustard word, and so on. Once the time is up, you hand your word card to whoever on the other side of the table is going to be giving the clues, and they will give their word card to one of you. Guessing. Starting with the red team, each team will have two minutes for their chosen clue giver to get them to guess as many of the five target words as possible. At the end of the two minutes, they will score one point for each correctly guessed word. During that two minute guessing period, the other team will be listening very closely to what the clue giver says and what the guessers say, because every time one of those people says one of the banned words that that team predicted, they're going to hold up the card, they're going to shout that word out, and they're going to score a point for it. After red team has had their two minutes, they take the scoreboard and blue team goes. Repeat with new cards and each team choosing a different clue giver. Restrictions. When choosing banned words and giving clues, there are restrictions in place. They're conveniently written on both sides of the dividing screen. Banned words must be single words. They cannot be conjunctions, pronouns, or other small parts of speech, so no ofs, ands, buts, she's, he's, you's, etc. And they cannot be any form of the target word or any of the target words on the card. When giving clues, the clue giver cannot say any of the target words or any form of them. They cannot translate a target word into another language. They cannot give clues that are about the spelling or sound of the word, so no starts with, no rhymes with. And they cannot just charade the words. They must speak clues out loud. Repeating banned words. If the active team has been told that a word is a banned word, uh, thus earning a point for the other team, and they still say that word again, well, they've said the banned word again, and that is another point for the listening team. At the end of the third full round, the team with the most points wins. Of course, as with most party games, you can play as long as you want. You don't have to limit yourself to three rounds. Most groups will like to play as many rounds as it takes for each person on each team to have been given the chance to be the clue giver. But if you've got a particularly large group, say six or more people per team, if you do that, this game might outstay its welcome. Who is banned words for? Banned Words is a team guessing game. It requires at least four people, but can be played with pretty much any number. So it's great for medium to large to very large groups. It is for people who like guessing games. So if they're fans of Taboo or code names, then Banned Words is going to be a hit with them. Banned Words is not for people who have a problem with time pressure. There is a two minute timer, so the uh, prediction round and the guessing rounds have a time crunch to them, and some people really don't operate well under that kind of pressure. So Banned Words is not for them. But if you enjoy that kind of pressure or don't care one way or the other, and you like guessing games, then Banned Words is one that you should check out. I'm Steve Tassie, the board game guru. Thanks for watching.